Have you ever wondered how your pet thinks? What goes on in their tiny heads? It's a question many of us have pondered while watching our furry companions, isn't it? There's a whole world whirling inside those cute little heads. A world that we, as humans, are often intrigued to understand. Today, we're going to dive into that world. We'll be focusing specifically on those two most popular pet companions, dogs and cats. Understanding our pet's thought processes can greatly enhance our relationship with them. It's about more than just deciphering their whims or knowing when they're hungry. It's about understanding their needs, their fears and their joys. It's about communicating with them on a deeper level and forming a bond that goes beyond the ordinary. In this video, we will delve into the fascinating world of pet psychology and explore how dogs and cats think. So, buckle up and prepare for a journey into the minds of our beloved pets. Let's start with our furry friends, the dogs. Dogs have a fascinating way of thinking, influenced largely by their pack mentality. Originating from wolves, dogs are social animals that thrive in groups, often looking to a leader for guidance. This is why your pooch looks to you as their pack leader, following your cues and instructions. Their pack mentality also extends to their unwavering loyalty. Dogs are known for their steadfast devotion to their human families, often willing to go to great lengths to protect their loved ones. For instance, we've all heard heartwarming stories of dogs traveling hundreds of miles to find their way back home, or standing guard over their injured human companions. But dogs aren't just loyal protectors, they're also incredibly in tune with our emotions. Many dog owners will tell you that their furry friend seems to know when they're feeling sad or stressed, often offering comfort in the form of cuddles or a sympathetic gaze. Scientific studies back this up, showing that dogs can indeed pick up on human emotions and often mirror their owner's feelings. Now, let's talk about their problem-solving skills. Dogs are quite adept at figuring things out, whether it's finding a hidden treat or figuring out how to open a door. They learn quickly from their experiences and can apply what they've learned to new situations. This is why your dog knows to sit patiently by the dinner table when you're eating or why they dash to the door when they hear the jingle of their leash. So, in essence, dogs think and behave in a way that is influenced by their pack mentality, their loyalty, and their emotional intelligence. They're not just our pets, but our companions, our protectors, and often our best friends. They understand us, empathize with us, and love us unconditionally. And that's what makes them such an integral part of our lives. Now, let's shift our focus to the enigmatic feline friends. Cats, those mysterious creatures that have captivated the hearts of many, possess a unique way of thinking that sets them apart from their canine counterparts. At the core of their cognitive process is their fiercely independent nature. Unlike dogs, who are pack animals by nature, cats are solitary hunters. This independence is often mistaken for aloofness, but it's simply a testament to their self-reliant instincts. The hunting instincts of cats are not just about catching prey, it's also a key component of their problem-solving skills. Picture this, a cat spots a mouse hiding in a small crevice. The feline doesn't just charge headfirst into the situation, instead, she calculates her moves. Considering the size of the crevice, the speed of the mouse, and the best angle of attack. This is a classic example of how cats use their hunting instincts to navigate complex situations. On the topic of social behavior, cats are quite selective. They don't just cozy up to anyone. When a cat chooses to interact with you, it's a sign that they trust you and feel comfortable in your presence. This selectivity extends to other cats as well. Unlike dogs who can instantly form packs with unfamiliar dogs, cats need time to adjust to new feline companions. They have their own social hierarchies and rules, which they establish over time. Finally, let's delve into their problem-solving skills. Cats are known to be curious creatures, and this curiosity often leads them to find innovative solutions to problems. Whether it's figuring out how to open a closed door or finding a hidden treat, cats use their sharp observational skills and creative thinking to overcome obstacles. Cats, with their independent and selective nature, exhibit a unique way of thinking that is heavily influenced by their hunting instincts. Their cognition is a fascinating blend of independence, curiosity, and calculated decision-making. It's a world away from the social and cooperative thinking of dogs, but it's a testament to the diverse ways our animal companions perceive the world.
So, what distinguishes a dog's thought process from a cat's? This is where the rubber meets the road, where we delve into the nitty-gritty of what sets apart the cognitive workings of our beloved canine companions from our feline friends. It's like comparing apples to oranges, really. Let's start with the pack mentality. Dogs, by instinct, are pack animals. They naturally thrive in groups seeking companionship and cooperation. This pack mentality influences how they interact with us and their environment. They're eager to please, to follow the leader, and to work in unison with their human pack. This is why your dog might sit by the door wagging its tail, waiting for you to come home, or why they might look to you for direction when they encounter something new. Cats, on the other hand, are solitary hunters by nature. They're independent thinkers, and while they can form social bonds, they don't rely on a pack for survival. This is why your cat might seem aloof or indifferent at times. They're simply wired to be self-reliant and to make decisions on their own. Now let's touch on the emotional intelligence and loyalty of dogs versus the selective social behavior of cats. They're attuned to their human's emotions, can read facial expressions, and are known to comfort their owners when they're sad. They're the epitome of a loyal friend. Cats, conversely, are more selective in their social interactions. They're choosy about who they bond with and when they want to socialize. Your cat might curl up on your lap one moment and then saunter off the next, seeking solitude. This selective social behavior doesn't mean they're less affectionate, just that they express their affection differently. As we can see, while both dogs and cats are intelligent creatures, they think and behave in significantly different ways. It's these differences that make our relationships with them unique and rewarding in their own ways. Our understanding and appreciation of these differences only deepen the bond we share with our four-legged friends. Despite their differences, dogs and cats share some commonalities in their thought processes. Let's delve into this fascinating bridge between the canine cognition and the feline philosophy. Firstly, both dogs and cats exhibit remarkable problem-solving abilities. Take, for instance, the way they navigate their way around obstacles. If a dog's favorite ball rolls under the couch, it doesn't just give up. It will paw, sniff, and even attempt to squeeze its way under to retrieve it. Similarly, a cat doesn't just sit idly by when its toy mouse ends up on top of a bookshelf. It will leap, climb, and even use objects around it to reach its prize. Secondly, both species have an uncanny ability to understand and respond to human emotions. Ever noticed how your dog seems to know when you're feeling blue and cuddles up to you? Or how your cat purrs and rubs against you when you're feeling stressed? This isn't just your imagination. Numerous studies have shown that dogs and cats can pick up on their human's emotional state and react accordingly. Lastly, both dogs and cats are capable of learning from experience. If a dog touches a hot stove, it learns not to do it again. If a cat jumps onto a spiky cactus, it quickly learns to avoid such plants in the future. This ability to learn from past experiences is a fundamental aspect of their thinking process. However, it's important to note that while dogs and cats share these commonalities, the way they manifest these abilities can vary. Dogs are typically more eager to please and may exhibit their problem-solving skills more openly. Cats, on the other hand, are more independent and may choose to solve problems on their own terms. These commonalities show that, despite their differences, dogs and cats share some fundamental processes in their thinking. So the next time you watch your furry friend puzzling over a problem or reacting to your mood, remember that you're witnessing a shared cognitive trait that bridges the gap between the canine and feline worlds. Let's summarize what we've learned about how dogs and cats think. Dogs, with their pack mentality, are wired to be loyal and love unconditionally. They are emotionally intelligent and can often understand and respond to human emotions. On the other hand, cats are independent creatures. Their thinking is driven by their hunting instincts, and they exhibit selective social behavior, choosing when and whom to interact with. While dogs and cats think differently, there are also commonalities. Both are capable of learning and adapting to their environments. Their behaviors can be influenced by their experiences and the care they receive from their human companions. So we see dogs and cats may have different ways of perceiving the world, but both have unique and fascinating minds. Understanding how our pets think can greatly improve our interactions with them and deepen our bonds. So next time you look at your pet, try to imagine what's going on in their mind.